In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to make a polymer clay top like this one and the little spin platform that it, that it goes on. And the polymer clay, first thing we have to do is make a polymer clay disc like this that we can turn on the lathe. So I'll talk a little bit about polymer clay and then we'll move on to making the top. Polymer clay comes in um, uh, little packages like this. They can get one ounce packages or two ounce packages. Uh, the brand that I use is called Primo, and uh, I'll open a package here. And before you can use the clay, you have to condition it. And this means working it until it becomes soft. It's pretty hard and stiff when you first get it. You can work it in your fingers, or you can roll it, we use a pasta machine, or if you're a wood turner, you can just make a little roller like, like this one and, uh, and roll it out on a, a surface. I use a plastic surface or wax paper because the clay doesn't stick to it. And the whole idea of conditioning again is to make it soft enough to work with. So I'm going to condition two pieces of clay and then come back. Okay, so I'm back. I have two pieces of conditioned clay. I've rolled them out and um, I'm making them into strips about Oh, a half inch wide. It takes about two ounces of clay to make one top. Actually a little less, maybe an ounce and a half. So there's one strip. And a second strip. I'm going to roll them together like a like a jelly roll. So I've got a roll of clay like that. I'm going to take a knife and cut the sides off square. And my top disc will look like this when we're finished. I made a little, what I call disc press, out of a vitamin bottle, and made a little plunger to fit in the disc press. And I use this to form the disc for the body of the top, and remove some of the old clay that's on here. So I'll put the plunger in there. The plunger is about a half an inch from the bottom of the uh, bottle. And I'll work my disc into the, into the press and smash it down real good to get rid of any air bubbles. And there's my polymer clay disc for turning. I'm 
Now before you can turn the polymer clay, it has to be hardened. And it's hardened by baking it in an oven at 275 degrees for uh, 30 minutes for each quarter of an inch. Since my discs are a half an inch, I bake it for one hour. This is a little toaster oven that I use to cook the discs or bake the discs. I set the temperature at 275 and I'll, it, since the timer only goes for 30 minutes, I'll, I'll set the timer twice uh, during the baking time. I usually bake a number of discs at one time rather than doing them one at a time. So I'm going to take a disc that I baked previously and drill a 3 8 inch hole down through the center. I put the pen blank into a spigot chuck, bring up the tailstock, make sure it's, it's secure and not going to vibrate around. And I'll turn the end of the pen blank to three-eighths of an inch so that the um, disc will slide over it. I have a 3 8 inch open end wrench that I use as a gauge and it's sharpened so I can cut down to 3 8 of an inch. And we'll see if the blank fits on there. Fits on there pretty well. And we'll use some CA glue to glue the disc onto the pen blank. Little accelerator to hurry it along. You don't want to be throwing uh, CA glue all over yourself. And again, I'll bring up the tailstock to support the disc while I turn this. For turning, I'm going to use a small spindle gouge. And first, I'm going to make it round, then, I'm going to carve off the profile on the bottom. One more cut. Let's 
So there I have the bottom of the top. It's a strange thing to say, bottom of the top. And I'll sand it um, using 600 grit sandpaper just to smooth it off. And it won't get shiny, but we'll finish it later with polymer finish. There, it's nice and smooth. And we're going to take the cone center, cone tip off the live center. And I'm going to bring the tail stock up with a piece of tissue between the live center and the top to support it while I turn the top of the top and the uh, stem. Okay, I have the camera on the other side. And I can turn the back of the top and the stem. Move some of these curly cues to clay. Edge a little bit, round it off. And I'm going to uh, turn the stem, but first I'm going to rough it down a bit. I have a smaller tool rest so I can get a little closer. And at this point, I can use the skew as a negative rake scraper. And I'll sand the stem in the top of the top. Seems pretty good. So then I usually finish the stem of the top with some CA glue. And the reason I do this is that I'm using a water-based finish on the polymer clay. And it will raise the grain on the stem. Then I have to sand it again. So I use CA glue. I put it on there with a paper towel. I'll put a little CA glue on the bottom too. You can finish your whole top with CA glue if you want to. You can't put a lacquer finish on the polymer clay. It makes it sticky. But if you put CA glue on it first as a finish and buff it around, you can, you can put lacquer on it if you wish. Or you can just leave CA glue as a finish. Um, I've started using Krylon Low Odor uh, finish, which is a water-based finish. 
and it puts a nice shine on the polymer clay and it, it does not affect the uh, clay. The finish I use on the top is low odor Krylon clear finish and uh, it's a water-based finish so it won't melt the clay like lacquer will. I spray some on the bottom of the top first and let it dry and then I'll turn it around and do the top. And that's all there is to that. Next I'm going to turn a spin platform for the top. The platform when it's finished looks like this. It's about three inches or a little over three inches in diameter. Well, the top will spin on it. So I have a piece of sapali that I have attached to a glue block and I'll make it round. And I generally taper it down toward the bottom. like so. And on this one I'm going to use a parting tool to put a groove in here that I can reverse chuck this. This will be the bottom. This is just one way to do this. There are many different ways. I'll put a slight bevel on that for the for the chuck. So I'm going to smooth off the bottom. This is on a glue block so I can take the tail stock away, clean up the bottom, and use a scraper to clean that up, a negative rake scraper. So I'll sand that a little bit while I can get at it. So that'll finish off nicely. I'll part that off from the glue block. and use a small chuck to turn it around. Now I'll finish the top.
I make it so the top will migrate toward the center. And sanding. Slow the lay it down a bit so we don't overheat the wood. I'll sand that down to 320. And I'll then sand it off, going with the grain. And the finish that I will use on this is trial on matte finish, and then I'll buff it. And there you have an executive spinning top with a spin platform. If you like this video, please go to waltwager.com, watch some of my other videos, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.